For Danny and Linnell Fairchild, life was good. It was 1994 and the Ocala, Florida couple enjoyed life to the fullest. Two beautiful kids, a marriage filled with joy, and a comfortable lifestyle. Danny loved his job as an elementary school teacher. Linnell stayed at home with the kids. We were blessed. Um, life was good. Good until Danny began to notice a strange feeling in his face, something unlike anything he ever felt. It was just this numbness in my mouth that wouldn't go away. Something was truly wrong. He had unending headaches and numbness in his jaw and he became uneasy in his step. He said he almost fell in front of his students. They saw doctors but got no answers. Finally, an ear, nose, and throat specialist found an answer to the mystery, and the news was not good. He had put, gave, me, gave me an MRI and found out I had a, I had a tumor uh, about the size of a, a plum uh, that was pressing against my, my brain. It had eaten up the facial nerve, and it took his hearing, but he was alive. Alive, yes, but facing risky surgery, and an uncertain future. It took hours of surgery to safely remove the tumor. Danny was thankful to be alive, but he wasn't the same. In a very real way, his face had changed. You can cover up a lot of things with the proper clothes, with the proper hairdo, but your face is your face, and it's what people see. And my husband had a great face and a great smile. And in a day, that was taken away from him. The procedure resulted in the right side of Danny's face becoming paralyzed. He suffered permanent hearing loss and slurred speech. And this devastating news, doctors said he'd have to live with all of this the rest of his life. I'm just glad to be alive. I'm glad to be able to live every day uh, at least uh, somewhat normal. To Danny, much of his personality was still the same, though admittedly he was now very different on the outside. We all like to look the best that we, that we can. And our appearance does mean something to us. Danny now struggled to do the things that many of us find so easy, so routine. But no matter how bad it got, Danny's faith never wavered. Then, in 1996, something totally unexpected happened. A turn of events that, for Danny, was just what he needed. Wife Linnell, who was 38 at the time, was pregnant, expecting a baby boy. I think as much as people thought my mom was crazy having a baby at 38, you know, oh my goodness, he was a gift from God. He was, he gave my dad a reason to keep going and to make a new life with this situation that he had on his hands. He didn't have time to sit around and wallow in pity. He had a new baby to love. We caught up with Danny 16 long years later in June of 2012. It had been 17 years since the operation that saved, but ultimately changed Danny's life. Son Derek was in the Air Force. Daughter Hillary was due to be married in just over a month. And baby Harrison? He was now in high school. Danny was retired from his teaching job and life had long since returned to normal. The physical challenges Danny had with his face were just a part of the man those who know him loved. I, I, I knew that's what it was and, and, and I really didn't think it was ever going to change. He thought wrong. And my phone rang and I looked down and it was someone I knew uh, calling and I thought, well, I've got time to talk. The voice on the other end of the line belonged to Lauren Olson, physician assistant and owner for Radiance Advanced Skin and Body Care in the Woodlands, Texas. Months earlier, Danny and Linnell passed through and visited Lauren on their way back to Florida. And when he walked into the spa that Saturday, he had a big smile on half of his face. Half a smile, that odd expression stuck with Olson. She wanted to help. Weeks later, she had a chance to talk about Danny's condition with the medical director at Radiance, Dr. Ifepo Shofala, a highly respected facial plastic surgeon based at Humble Surgical Hospital just north of Houston. 
Dr. Shofala is one of the few surgeons in the world specializing in what's called facial reanimation surgery, a painstaking procedure, but one that could potentially repair Danny's face and reverse the paralysis that Danny had lived with for so many years. He said, if, if Danny will come, I'll do surgery on him. So I made the phone call to Linnell. She said, would he be interested in coming to Houston and to be operated on by one of the best surgeons? Well, I answered yes before even talking to him. Linnell said yes because she knew her husband would probably say no. So much time had gone by and their only daughter was about to be married. It wasn't about him, and for Danny, that was just fine. Dr. Sofla uh, called me. Um, I, I think it, I realized that it, that it really was an opportunity. An opportunity to restore the smile Danny and Linnell thought they'd never see again. A chance to fix the unfixable. One chance for Danny to literally save face. I think I almost had to talk him into this because he says, my life is good. I said, I know your life is good, but we're being offered a chance for your face to be better. Danny's uh, case essentially summarizes uh, what it what pretty much draws a lot of us to medicine, which is to make an impact in people's lives personally. So he does have some movement uh, in his lower lip. For Danny to regain that famous smile, he would have to undergo the state-of-the-art plastic surgery. Due to the complexity of it and Danny's medical condition, the surgery had to be done in two stages. In this particular case, what we want to do is we want to employ the modern methods of uh, facial reanimation, which are designed to uh, uh, obtain the best possible result as far as facial symmetry is concerned. And what I'm using is called Venus Freeze. It uses a combination of radio frequency and magnetic pulses. In the days leading up to this cutting edge surgery, Danny will spend most of his time with Lauren Olson, the woman who started this process for Danny, as well as the staff at Radiance Advanced Skin and Body Care. Radiance is a full-service medical day spa and salon nestled in the woodlands, an upscale community north of Houston. Danny would undergo preoperative treatments here, optimizing the condition of his skin, providing nutritional support to promote faster recovery with fewer complications. Radiance has built a reputation for using the most advanced technology to provide patients with the best possible results. It's important to me as a medical provider, and I know it is to Dr. Shofla as well, to make a difference in people's lives. Danny, how are you? Good, good, good to see you. On the day of procedure number one, Dr. Shofala carefully explained to Danny what to expect and what would be happening inside that operating room. So we're essentially going to get you all symmetric, more or less, and move your face up. I know your facial nerve is over here. You know, we're going to be very cognizant of that. We're going to switch out your you know, like gold wings and deal with a few other things that will get you uh, to, to the point that, uh, that we are all looking for. To deal with the complexity of Danny's situation and to get him back in time for his daughter's wedding, his surgery would come in two phases, one before the big event and one after. Glad you agreed to let me talk you into this wonderful opportunity. Okay? Love you. Deep down, I could sense uh, that uh, he was uh, yearning for this uh, opportunity. This life-changing surgery was taking place at Humboldt Surgical Hospital, a multi-specialty, physician-owned surgical hospital based in Humboldt, Texas, a short drive from downtown Houston. Dr. Shofala's first order of business for Danny's life-changing surgery is removing and replacing a large golden weight inserted years ago to hold down Danny's eyelid. This painstaking phase takes several hours. I'm looking towards the rest of Danny's life. I'm looking at him not always concerned about, am I drooling? Is someone looking at me? 
I'm so excited. Six hours later, Linnell gets okay. word Danny is Thank now in recovery. The surgery is a success, but only time will tell exactly how much improvement Danny would see. Beneath the bruises and swelling, Danny's face would show improvement after the first procedure, but he would have to wait until after his daughter's wedding to see any drastic change in his smile. With phase one complete, Danny and Linnell fly back home for yet another life-changing event, Hillary's wedding. Danny was there to walk her down the aisle. That pride of him being so proud is just awesome for me. I'm so thankful that I had a wonderful dad who was able to walk me down the aisle. And so it, it, it really didn't matter what, what I looked like. She just said, that's still my dad walking me down that aisle. A month later, Danny and Linnell returned to Humble Surgical Hospital for some unfinished business. One more surgery to make Danny's facial restoration complete. This time around, the procedure was less invasive. And within hours of waking up, Danny moved to the mirror to see what he was waking up to. I was afraid to look, and I didn't look the first time I went in there. I didn't want to be disappointed at what I saw. I, th I think I just somehow I got the courage enough to, to look in the mirror. I, I, I literally saw the straightness of my mouth that I never had seen in, you know, 18 plus years. And I mean, that's, that, was a, that really was a thrill to me. There was a smile on my husband's face that hadn't been there in so many years. I mean, even with all of the swelling, he just, I, he could smile. And I, I just, I was working at um, Your Heart's Desire with all the ladies from church and I just started bawling. I said, I haven't seen my dad smile in 17 years. It, it was kind of like I, I had gone back in, in, <laughs> into time. By October 2012, back home, to those on the outside, Danny and Linnell still looked the same, enjoying their yard, their life, their family, but something significant had changed. Dramatically, Danny's smile was back. It's been such an overwhelming experience for me uh, that I thought was never going to, was never going to happen. And he was happy. He was genuinely happy with who he was. He was proud to smile. He, he was thankful. He was beaming. And we didn't have to try to overindulge. We didn't have to try to make him feel good. He did feel good. Danny and Linnell Fairchild wanted to make sure to enjoy this gift and pay it forward by spreading the word that facial paralysis was no longer a life sentence. Danny's own restored smile is the clear and convincing evidence. My dad always said, it's what's inside that counts. But it's what's outside that people see first. And that's just the human element of all of this. Did this make Danny a better person? Did this change who he is inside? No. But we live in this human element. And this has changed the human element. And there are other people out there who are hurting. There are other people out there who are embarrassed. There are other people out there who are staying home. And they too can get this. And that's what is so great. Danny is living proof after so many years of waiting. He can look back on his ordeal and finally, fully smile.